Um, yeah, I mean, historically, research research has always been been one or the other. Either it's deep, but you 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 can't. It's not. There's not a lot of volume behind it, or you have a lot of data points that go very wide, but you know nothing nothing deeper. So uh, a survey goes deep. You know, I I can ask you a lot about about who you are, and then I can hope that people who seem like you echo your attitudes, your answers, even your lifestyles. Or I can uh, sit in Times Square and watch a ton of people for hours at a time and make some deductions about them, not knowing anything about their lives, not knowing anything about what they did after that minute that we saw them. So that's essentially what market research has been. And there is value there, but without being able to combine depth and scale, you're not able to truly make larger scale informed decisions. You're always making a bet. And so what's happened now is with tech, and as we mentioned earlier with AI, you're able to really get that depth and scale because you're able to capture information at speed by talking to a lot of people very quickly, thanks to different technologies. And you're able to process it at scale through these AI that they are able to parse what's happening and organize and cluster the commonalities and actually pull out those patterns very quickly. So in a matter of, um, in a matter of days, I can understand what hundreds of thousands of people think about a topic purely by having access to that information, not having to go through it myself, but I haven't even spoken to them. And through, because of that scale and because of that depth, I can actually make some pretty strong deductions versus having to place a bet and hope that others are very much like what I'm seeing. 